Right, before we, we look at factorising trinomials, why don't we have a look at uh, multiplying out brackets? We'll use the FOIL method, okay? So let's, let's multiply out x plus 1 and we'll go for x plus 5, okay? So considering how we multiply these out using FOIL, first would be these two here that we'd multiply together, so that would give me an x squared. I'd then multiply the outsides, which is this one times that one, gives me 5x. Multiply the insides, plus x, and the lasts, which is 1 times 5, will give me plus 5. I'll then gather up the middle terms, which gives me a plus 6, and that's going to be plus 5. So that's the, the bracket multiplied out using FOIL. This is quite important when we're factorising because factorising is just the reverse of, of that. And what I'd be trying to do is going from the trinomial like this one here and putting it back into brackets. So the important things to remember, multiplying out the first terms will give me the first term in the trinomial. Multiplying out the lasts will give me the last term in the trinomial. And that's important for us. Right then, let's go on to an example of factorising trinomials. We'll go for x squared plus 6x plus 8. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to put that into two brackets. Okay? So, what I'll do is start with my brackets. I know that to multiply that, x times x gives me x squared. For 8, I have to consider the factors of 8. So the factors of 8 would be 1 and 8 or 2 and 4. From there, I'm trying to make up a value of 6 from these factors. So with uh, 1 and 8, I can't make up 6, because I take 1 away from 8, I get 7. Add 1 on to 8, I would get 9. So that doesn't make 6x. With the factors of 2 and 4, adding them together will give me a 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 2 in here and a 4 in here. And then I'll consider the signs. If I look at this sign here, that's a plus. So that means that I, the, the 2 and the 4 are pluses, or what it means is the 2 and the 4 are minuses. In this case, when I look at this sign here, that's a plus, so I would then know that both of them are pluses, and that would be it factorised. Now what I'm going to show you is a, a table method, uh, which will help with uh, some of the more difficult uh, trinomials that you factorise. So let's go forward and look at the table method. And what I'll do is I'll just draw a simple table along the way. I'm going to put these two x's, that's the x for the first bracket and the x for the second bracket there. I'm then going to consider the factors of 8, which would be 1 and 8, and 2 and 4. And if I hadn't already worked out from the signs there that these are positive numbers, I would then have to consider minus 1 and minus 8 minus 2 and minus 4. So they build the factors of 8. The way the table works is I'll multiply across the way here. x times 8 will give me 8x. And then multiply across in this direction. x times 1 will give me 1x. And what I'll do is I'll gather them together and that gives me 9x. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the, the value that I get out of there, the 9x, with the 6x in the middle. They're not the same, so that is not my solution. So these are not the factors I would use. I'll multiply across again. 4 times x will give me 4x. x times 2 gives me 2x. Gather them together, that gives me 6x. Compare that with that there. 6x and 6x, yes, that's correct. So they are going to be my factors. The way I'd put it into the bracket would be this x here would be paired up with the, the 2 on the top, so that gives me my first bracket. This x here would be paired up with the 4 here, that gives me my second bracket. And that's the way I would factorise using that table method. Okay. Let's look at another example. Let's go for x squared minus 6x plus 9. Okay. So for this one here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go straight to the table method. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll consider some factors. So the factors that I'm going to consider here will be x and x to work out the x squared. And the factors of 9 would be, I'll go for, um, right, so I could go for 1 and 9, 3 and 3. But if I look at the signs, that's a positive number there. 
So both numbers are either positive or they're both negative. If I look at that sign there, they're both negative. So let's put in negative and a minus 3 and a minus 3. Okay. Right, let's do the usual table method. So multiply them across the way. And that should give me minus 10x. Minus 10x compared with that, that is not my solution. Multiply across this way again, 3x. Across that way, minus 3x. And these two here gathered up together gives me minus 6x. I'm looking for a minus 6x in here and in here. It matches, so that's going to be my solution. The factors are going to be used are going to be minus 3 and minus 3. Pairing up in the brackets, same way, these two here. Pairing up in the second bracket, there. Okay. Let's try another couple of questions and what we're going to do is just going to change the signs about a bit. Okay. So I'm going to continue on with one more of these questions here. So I'm going to go with minus 16x and I'll go for a plus 15. Let's, let's go for that one. So just go quickly. I'm going to use the table method. I know that to make x squared I've got x and x. x goes there, x goes there. Okay, so factors of a positive 15 would be, let's see, 1 and 15, 3 and 5. Looking at this sign here, that again tells me that both of these numbers are going to be negative. So I'll go for negative 1, my negative 15, go for negative 3, negative 5, and I don't really need to put the positive ones in because that's not going to be a solution. Multiply across the way, and across the way, gives me minus 16x. And good, I've been lucky because I've just found it out on the, the first, the first time I've done it. Don't need to do this, i found the solution in the brackets, pairing up this way here, and pairing up this way here with the, the ones on the bottom, minus 15. And that, that would work out for me, that would be there. Now let's look at uh, another value. Let's try another question. Let's go for, we'll go for D, and we'll go for X squared minus 3X minus 40. Okay. Just going to go straight to using the table method x and x will go there because that's what I'm going to multiply together to get the x squared. So if I think about all the factors of minus 40, so that's telling me that the two, these, these numbers here that are multiplying, one of them's a negative and one of them's a positive. Okay, that sign there just tells me that the biggest one that multiplies out is going to be a negative. So let's write down the factors of minus or negative 40. So minus 40, minus sorry, 1 and minus 40, I've got minus 1 and 40, so I'm just reversing that around a bit. I've got 2 and I've got minus 20, I've got minus 2 and 20. Uh, 4 and minus 10, I've got minus 4 and 10. I would have 5 and minus 8, and minus 5 and 8. Oh. So quite, quite a number of factors here to work out this problem. Now, normally what I would do when I'm trying to work out the factors, I could just work through all of these as they are just now, but remember what I'm doing is I'm looking for a number that multiplies together to get 40, or numbers that get 40, and I can make a difference of 3 out of them. I can't do that with 1 and 40, I could only make 39, or I could make 41, but along here, these numbers here have a difference of 3, if I just consider them as their positive numbers. Right, so let's try that out anyway. So I'll multiply that one times that one, gives me minus 8x. That one times that one there gives me 5x. Gather that up together, minus 3x. Yep, great, found my solution. That's my solution there. And I'm going to pair the bracket up with the x and the 5. So that's a plus 5 and x and the minus 8. So it would be a minus 8 that would go there. And that's, that's that one factorised straight away. Let's look at a, a different way the signs could be could look. So I've got x squared, I'll go for plus 3x and I'll go for minus 10. Again, factorising, putting into two brackets. Try the table method. Right, let's look for the this one here. I've got a minus 10 that I'm going to multiply the last two terms out by. So again, one's a minus, one's a plus. 
the biggest one is going to be a plus if I was just going to factorise them directly into the bracket. However, I'll just use the table method. Let's go for 1, minus 10. I'll go for minus 1, I'll go for 10. Uh, 2, minus 5. Go for minus 2 and 5. Okay, so they'll all multiply together to get minus 10. And again, the same as I did up above, I'm looking for two numbers that multiply together to get a 10 with a difference of 3. So it would be these ones here. So my solution must lie within these two. So let's multiply that out. So x times minus 5 will give me minus 5x. x times 2, 2x. Gather them together, minus 3x. Compare this with the middle term. No, not my solution. Let's multiply this one out. So it's going to be 5x. Multiply the top out, minus 2x. Gather them together, gives me 3x. Great. That's the exact same as that, so that's my solution. Gather these ones together, minus 2 these ones together, plus 5, and that should be my solution to that. Now I'd mentioned that this, um, this method will help you out with uh, some of the more difficult um, factorising of trinomials. So let's try one that's got a coefficient in front of the x squared. So let's look at x squared, we'll go for plus 7x, and we'll go for plus 3. Okay, so we're trying to factorise this. Now the difference that I can see already when I put the first term into brackets, 2x times x will give me 2x squared. So that's a bit of a difference. What I'm going to do is just go straight to the table method, as I, as I have been doing. But only the difference will be there'll be a 2x there and an x there, based on that 2x and that x. Now, I'm quite lucky. The factors of 3 are quite quite simple. Um, and that's a, that's a positive, and that's a positive. So I'm just really going to look at the positive factors. So what I'll look at is I'll look at 3 and 1, and I'll look at 1 and 3. Okay, just the opposite way around. I've got to look at these the other way around, because I've got a 2x there, an x on the bottom, and if I multiply them out, I would get different values coming out. So let's go ahead and do the table work. That would give me 2x, that would give me 3x, multiplying that, gathered together, gives me 5x. We'll look at the term in the middle, that is not my solution. Multiply these ones out, so that would be 2x times 3 will give me 6x, x times 1 gives me x, gathered together, 7x, yep, that's going to be the, the middle term, 7x and 7x match up. Again, the same thing with the brackets, I've got to match them that way there, that's a plus 1, and the x and the 3 will be matched up there, and that's that's factorised out for me there, so that's, that's me done that one. Let's finish with uh, one more, and we'll go with g, we'll go for something a bit different, so x squared, 6x squared, sorry, plus 7x, and we'll go for plus 2, okay? So what we'll do is we'll start with the brackets. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up the table first before I put values in, because in here I could have different uh, factors of 6x squared. I'm going to put them in the table and work through first of all. So the first thing I could do is I could have a 6x and I could have an x and the other bracket that I could have could be could be a 3x and a 2x because both of them make the 6x squared. Now again I'm quite lucky because the, the factors of 2 are relatively simple. I've got plus values there so I'm going to put a 1 and a 2 and a 2 and a 1. I'll just use the same factors over here, and what I'll do is I'll just work through the, the tables until I find my answer. These two multiplied together, 12x, these two x gathered together, 13x, not a solution, doesn't match up with the 7x up above. Multiply out again, 6x, 2x, gather them together, 8x, doesn't match up with my solution either. So I'm going to be moving over here onto the 3x and 2x values. Multiply these together, that will give me 6x. Multiply these, 2x, gather them together, 8x. Not a solution again, and hopefully the last one here should work out for us. 3x times 1 is 3x. 2x times the, the, the 2 will give me 4. Gather them up together. Yep, so that, that works out the, the factors. So the factors that I'm going to use in the first bracket, 3x, 
plus 2. Second bracket, 2x plus 1. And that's factorising.